I have a size disadvantage here. They have three linebackers to my receivers. Look at the hole this creates, even with that disadvantage. Look at the hole going right up the middle. There's nothing up the middle after that hole is created. I'll average 10 yards of carry with this play easy. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got the start of a brand new offense today. Today, I'm bringing you guys some run plays. Uh, that's probably one of my favorite run plays schemes in the game to use right now. It has an explosive inside and outside run combination that really makes it one of the hardest to stop run schemes in the game. I'm in the Tennessee Titans playbook, but this formation I'm going to show you guys I think is also found in the Packers and the Falcons. I'm in the Titans because it's something I'm recently lapping. If you guys want to see more plays Woo! out of the Titans, as always, you want to see more plays from this offense, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. The formation I'm going to be using today is going to be the single back doubles Y off. To me, the best running plays to run are either in pistol or single back typically if you're in single back it's a running system because uh, when you're in something like a shotgun you typically only have so many options it's typically going to be like inside zones uh typically inside handoffs are the most successful outside runs are typically successful when you go to uh your single back looks typically when you're in single back formations you have a much wider variety of run plays to different attack points because the quarterback's under center and he can really hand off the ball in multiple directions to the running back Things like the 0-1 trap, which is going to be the first play in this scheme. I love 0-1 trap. It's one of the best inside runs. Uh, the second best play is probably going to be the halfback stretch. This is going to be something where, you know, you're really just going to be playing the game. If your opponent spreads the defense to stop the outside runs, you're going to hit them with an, with an 0-1 trap. If they pinch the defense, you're going to hit them with a stretch. It's really that simple. Then when it comes to the third play, probably my favorite is going to be the jet sweep. Uh, this is going to be one of the most explosive runs, especially against man coverages. And then last but not least, the pass play, which I'm not going to show in this video, I'm going to probably show in the next video, is going to be the PA corner post. If you guys want to see a one-play touchdown against every single defense in this scheme, hit the like button in the comment section and I will do that. Other than that, since we're not going to be showing the pass play today, if I had a fourth run play, it's really my choice between the halfback, power, O, alert, bubble, or the zone fake jet, which is going to basically be an inside run working off of the jet sweep. I'm going to go ahead and go with the jet sweep. I'll probably show all five, though. So since you can have five audibles, the fifth play I would pick would be the power, alert, bubble. Bubble. Now, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors, AOAs.com. If you guys want to get your money team up and help support the channel at the same time, all you have to do is check them out. Link in the description below and just discount code MONEY to get 3% off what's always guaranteed to be the cheapest coins on the market. And they also sell products with just about every single video game you like to play, especially sports games like NBA 2K, FIFA, uh, things like that, Rocket League. Any game you play, they're going to have products for that, and you get a discount on them by using my discount code MONEY, which gives you 3% off. Now, as far as the Owen Trap goes, if I have a look like this, I mean, obviously, you know, this is something where uh, they definitely have a size advantage but the defense is spread to a point where I definitely can have success inside with this 0-1 trap you can see I mean the way that this creates lanes I had a wide lane right there although I got tripped up by my own guy so obviously I have a huge size advantage here they have three linebackers to my receivers I probably could have passed against this defense but ultimately look at the hole this creates even with that disadvantage if I were to cut across this guy a little bit better look at the hole going right up the middle there's nothing up the middle after that hole is created. And that's something you're gonna get quite a bit. So anytime your defense ha doesn't have a tightly packed box, the L1 trap's gonna be the way, and you can see how you can just have success with this just all day. I'll average 10 yards of carry with this play easy. And this is a very good defense, but if you have holes like this, if you have the defense spread, which this three wide receiver set will spread the defense a lot, you'll see how you'll have no trouble getting to that second level every single time, especially against something like that. Look like a cover two. Essentially, cover two zones, cover two man, the L1 trap is gonna be very successful regardless, even if they do 
do have uh, it, it tightened kind of like they do have here. But uh, this look almost looks like a cover six or a cover nine, if I had to guess, because of the fact that the cornerback's down on the right side and he's back on the other side. So let's go and let's hit him with the stretch play. Now the stretch play is going to be best against cover three, cover four, anything where the cornerbacks drop back. This play could be very successful if you flip it, but ultimately I'm going to want to run it behind my uh, my tight end because that will give me a block advantage. If my tight end is wider than their uh, than their you know their nearest box defender, whether it's an outside linebacker or defensive end, this will give me a lot of success to the edge there i cut it back a little bit short i think Leonard was going to cut that off so there's two ways to really attack defenses with this with this system if it's a loosely spread uh defensive alignment uh obviously the owen trap is going to work like right here they're spread out pretty wide this is something that'll do a better job of stopping the stretch than it will the o1 trap if they're tightly spread if they're if they're trying to take away those inside run lanes then you hit them with the stretch. It's really that simple. You can play it that easily if you're not good at reading coverages. If you are good at reading coverages, there's another way to do this, and to me, it's even more effective. Uh, if it's a cover two, whether it's man or zone, the O1 trap will be the best play to run based on the fact that when cover twos, which is what this looks like it is, by the way, it looks like it's a cover two man, the safeties will typically drop straight back, taking themselves out of the play, and that's how you get to that 10-yard level before there's anybody even close to you. If it's a cover three or a cover four, the cornerbacks drop back post-snap, typically making the stretch play the best run. So you can run it two ways. Either run it by the defensive front alignment or run it by the defense itself if you read the defense, and you're going to have an advantage every single time. Now, this particular play, like I said, looks like a cover two man. There's a couple ways to tell that. If I motion one of these guys across, in man coverage, typically the man defender will follow, uh, which obviously I was correct. So in this scenario, you have the, the option of running the third play of this scheme, which is going to be the jet sweep. Now, the jet sweep, when I run this, you'll see that the defender will not follow, which gives you an immediate advantage. This is something that they probably want to fix in the game, where essentially now I have an immediate advantage because the extra defender stayed at home and he stayed on his side. So anytime you have a man coverage of any kind, this is the play. I mean, this will also be very successful against cover three and cover four because once again, the cornerbacks drop back, but you can see you have a very successful run play against any man coverage based on the fact that it's just how the run defense reacts. They, they The outside cornerbacks will follow back those receivers the same way. You can see this receiver here, or this cornerback here has no idea until he's 10 yards down the field that I'm running the ball right behind him and getting a huge run play. So it works in so many ways. It's really best. If you have an opponent running a lot of man coverage, this jet sweep is going to be the best play. Now, as far as the zone fake jet, this works well if your opponent starts shifting. If he sees the receiver going across and he basically runs over there with his user, that's going to be a good opportunity to hit him with the fake uh, because essentially the linebacker will leave the middle. It's not going to work too great against the computer, but against actual user opponents that really overreact to this, uh, this, this fake jet, that's going to be a very successful play to go the opposite way, and it's typically just going to be a good inside run that can go for a lot more depending on what your opponent does pre-snap. So that's pretty much it. Those are the top four plays. Like I said, I don't really use the zone fake jet too much unless I notice my opponent is reacting. The last play would be the power. This here, the power alert, this is something that I'm only really going to use against cover three, cover four. If you see your punch running a lot of defenses like that, you basically just get it out to this uh, receiver here on the bubble screen. It's not going to be as explosive unless you have a really you know quick twitch receiver that can get up the field quick and make people miss. But ultimately, this is going to be something that you can have a lot of success with against coverages where you know the cornerbacks drop back once again. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more plays, especially part two, I got a one play touchdown. The, the touchdown play, the one play touchdown play is even glitchier than the run plays, and the run plays really the basis of this offense but if you want to see the one play touchdowns uh from that specific pass play that i showed you guys hit the like button and i'll do it in tomorrow's video or let me know in the comment section on that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below